All right, hello, YouTube. We are diving into some Hyper Light Drifter. We just had a big rant. So if you want to see that, please check out my Twitch VODs. Um, I'll have a link to that in the description. I feel like a true YouTuber. I've never done this shit before, all right? <laughs> hello, YouTube. <laughs> so we're diving back into Hyper Light Drifter, picking up where we left off. So I think we just, we just got the third boss down. All right. We're back to normal now. Maybe back to her normal chatting. I don't know. I'm gonna try to start doing some introductions and that kind of thing. Sup, YouTube. Yeah. Dave says hello. Um, okay. Where the fuck did we leave off? Yeah, I finished this. I learned something crazy. <laughs> what up, YouTube? It's ya boy. <laughs> Missed the end of the rant. I was very excited to see this. I've been saying positive stuff. Ah, oh, dude, Sko. Oh, God. I need to stop saying dude. I say that too much. It's in. It's reflex. I don't mean it. I'm trying to say y'all and folk more. It's a little... I, I don't know. I don't know if, if dude is actually exclusionary, but I like to say... Only inclusionary things. I don't know. Gender neutral. But anyways, this game is beautiful. Please say y'all more. Okay, so I did like a slang test uh, recently. What was it? Uh, it was a it was a slang test for Boston slang specifically. Um, or or no no, it was guessing your region based on the slang that you used. Um, and there is like a very small subsection of Massachusetts around Boston that says y'all and folk pretty pretty frequently, uh, but the rest of Massachusetts like doesn't, and none of the other New England states do. But in Boston, we say y'all. <laughs> I say man to everyone like a 70s stoner. Not includes you need to stop that. I think it's like, I think it depends on your audience a little bit. Like I think a lot of, or most people know that it's not like a gendered, phrase um but uh i don't know i i've started thinking about what i say more now that it's being recorded and posted on the internet forever i'll also just maybe i should plug this if you want to follow me on youtube i upload my vods there <laughs> um uh, cool. So something I noticed in this game earlier, um, I thought that I only needed four of these per each area. There's actually eight. There's eight. So in the top corner, this corner, you can see that there are extra little triangles that go around the outside of the diamond. That's crazy to me. What? What? So there's a lot of secrets that I haven't found. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do, I have this whole area down here unlocked now, um, and I could go down there, but I think I'm actually gonna go over here first and do a little bit of secret hunting. Just a little bit, not a lot. Maybe a couple of minutes. See, see what we find. Because the further I get into this game, the more thoroughly I wanna play it. Dave, you're good. Kinda worked up about this Blizzard stuff. Need to... Uh, it's stuff they've read and been trying to get over it. Besides that, you're good. Dave. Dave, we're right- we're right there with you. I- I read about some of this stuff. Oh, god, I forgot to- I forgot to show it. I was gonna show it. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, there was an interview, uh, at- I think it was, like, at BlizzCon or something, where some of the game development, um, on stage were asked a question about inclusivity, uh, by a woman and the response that she got was appalling. And I was gonna show it and I forgot. So if you're not already, grab it for chat. Yeah, go ahead and um, you can throw the link in chat uh, or y'all can join our Discord if you wanna rant on Discord with us about other topics as well as this particular one. Um, I also have a link there to the uh, I have a link there for the actual lawsuit if you wanted to read it over. Um, the politics channel is happening. Uh, yeah, I mean, 
we keep adding more and more channels and they're getting used so I don't have a problem with it. For, for a really long time, I really wanted uh, the Discord, um, especially like before I branched out and, and invited other streamers to join the Discord as like a co-hosted thing. Um, I wanted it to be just one channel of conversation. Um, and see, here we go. Here's a secret. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, in practice, while I liked that idea of not diluting conversation, um, I realized that if there's too much going on in one channel, people will mute the whole Discord. Uh, but also, if there's too... Uh, if there's too much going on and it's hard to follow, you can't have multiple conversations at once. And that is unfortunate. I love a politics channel, Ray, if we want to swing that by the others. Yeah, let's let's chat after the stream because I, I have I've got both positive and negative feelings about it. So so we'll chat as a group and see see what the others think, because I, I have a feeling that the others are going to be opposed, but we'll see. We'll see. Oh, I'm getting so much better at finding these secrets. Heck yeah. Fear your eating nights. <laughs> um, but one of the things that I don't like when I'm in other people's Discord... Discords... Is when... Uh, da, 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 da. when you go into the channel and there's like 15 different topic channels and it's like you want to go and like read some of the conversations but you also don't want to have to click through like 15 different channels just to get caught up right at that point you end up just clicking the little box by the way if you didn't know this in discord on the top uh right of your screen there's a little folder icon. If you click that, you can clear all notifications. I had no idea. It's crazy. So, so cool. That changed my life. <laughs> I'll catch up on chat in just a moment. All right, let's see. We could find a way for people to assign roles in the Discord so they can pick what text channels they want to be a part of. So for those not wanting political talk, that's an option. That's a good point. That's a really good point, Dave. I don't know how to set that up, but I've seen other channels do that, and I like it when I see it. I just don't know how to do it. Uh, which gun do I have equipped? Oh, God. That is the wrong gun. That's better. Also, today I learned the game does not pause when you're in the menu screen. Because those guys are right behind me. Okay. Oh, there's more. Get out of here. Oh! Uh... I'll say, at first, I didn't like the combat in this game, and it's really grown on me. I started to really like it. Uh, da da da. We are very different Discorders. Just joined an inclusion book club at work. Should be interesting. Oh, cool. Not tr not sure how much I trust corporate diversity education. Yeah, I understand your hesitation. I'm trying to see if there's anything else here. Ugh. Just me personally, but I didn't participate in any corporate anti-Asian hate programs. Just felt like preaching to the choir with no action. 
Um, yeah, Orc, I, I don't want to talk on stream too much about our job specifically, but I had very similar feelings. You guys can talk in the comments all you want, but I just, I'm live, I guess. I'm not a large enough Twitch streamer to be able to get away with doing anything I want in the hot tubs and pools channel. That's all you're saying about it. Yeah, yeah, fair. One day, when I'm bringing in Twitch millions and millions of dollars, I can say whatever I want. No hot tubs? <laughs> Oh, I've been here before. Never mind. That seemed exciting, and then I was here before. Really, t uh, they're wild and really turned you off reading or discussing them. That's so sad. Also, I really, I really can't, uh, thank you guys enough, um, for, for being such wonderful, wonderful people that I always really look forward to talking to. Um, like, I, I love streaming on Friday nights. Ah, oh, God. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I'll hold that thought. Jesus. Okay. Um. Uh, how do I heal? That's how I heal. Um, I always look forward to streaming on Friday nights because I get to start off my weekend with a clean slate and talk to people who just get it. Ah, I got it. You're glad chat was supportive today. You were concerned. I was I was not concerned about anyone who I know. Uh anyone who has like been in the chat previously, um, or is you know, that I've just seen around, I, I had full faith in. But I was expecting randos to come in and cause trouble, for sure. Absolutely. I can't chat, give us support and kill stuff. Had your sword ready, hell yeah, Allie. Don't mess with my mods. I think one of the first rules in my actual rules on Twitch is that mod decisions are final. It's like, I trust my people. If there were rando voices, no, no discourse with them, just insta ban. I yeah, but then the other, the other thing that I was kind of thinking was if someone came in with a differing opinion, I don't know what that opinion would have been to have warranted any discussion on this particular topic. But um, uh, I would have felt very conflicted against wanting to respect their viewpoint but also stay true to my values. Um, I can't remember which way is the way that progresses here. Oh yeah. I don't think we ever figured out a way to like get this guy out. He's like, He's just super dead, because we can't even use our sword in here. I never get a chance to watch your stream. Excited to be here for once. I'm just so happy to have you here. Intolerance of intolerance, or tolerance of intolerance cannot be permitted. That's, a, that's words to live by. You don't mind discourse, but to be outright ugly. All right, we found this before. Outright ugly, um, 
or unwilling to participate in a polite manner would def be an insta ban. Absolutely, Allie. Absolutely. Tammy, hello. This is your favorite game. I love this game so far. I'm about six hours into it. Um, I have defeated three bosses, and I'm loving this game. Why do I always manage to join streams during this com these conversations? Yeah, Tammy, earlier at the start of the stream, we had a discussion about the Blizzard lawsuit. Um, so there's a little bit of uh, conversation. It, uh, I don't know, whatever you call this. Teetering off. We're, we're, we're reflecting on it. We're still reflecting on it. Lingering conversation. Yes. In fairness, this... Dis uh, in fairness, this discourse, there were very few shades of moderate opinions. Anyone with some moderate opinions on this stuff are just apologists. Hmm. I... I agree. You've avoided this thing, whatever it is. Pretty sure there's no good that can come of me reading it. You know, I, I understand avoiding it. Uh, because it is, it's dark. Um, if you are not in the uh, headspace to feel comfortable or safe doing, reading into it for your mental health, I understand. It was, it's a lot. But that's why we talked about it at the start of the stream, so that, uh, we don't have to dig into the details of it now because we, we've already we've already did and we uh, 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 we covered it pretty thoroughly we got our rage out <laughs> and I get a uh, hoo -ya. uh maybe not maybe not the right time for that Marcus <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Gotcha, Tammy. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Marcus, how are you doing today? Oh, I'm out. You're doing good? Glad to hear it. Glad to hear. This game is so pretty, you guys. I hope that no one is playing a drinking game of how often I say this game is pretty. Because there'll be a lot of drinking. What? All right, of all the bosses that I have fought in this game, the dogs are my least favorite. Just like, just the regular dogs. Just these little lion things. They're, they are my least favorite thing. Stop sharing my drinking games. <laughs> it's the whiskey. Living it up. It's Friday, hey, it's Friday night, you do you. I'm not saying don't drink, I'm just saying be responsible. And I say that because I care about you. I've been here. I didn't feel like doing all of that. Ugh! I don't know what this means. Oh. 
But I don't know what that means, if anything. Love the howl as they enter the area. And you're just like, oh, good! <laughs> it's you again! Uh, was there anything else down here? The square button you already passed to the first... Oh, okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, okay. So we gotta go back up. I'm a little bit... More... So I've said this game is praises a lot. Um... I'm starting to notice some things uh, that... Hula. I did, I did notice that. I wasn't sure if it was a typo. Um, but yeah, so I've like definitely sung this game's praises a lot. Uh, one thing that I am on the fence about, however, is... Uh, one thing I'm on the fence about is the map. The map, it's like, I see what they're going for with having it be vague, so you kind of have to figure it out. So I, I don't know if I would actually benefit, ex like, uh, uh, whatever. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm lost my train of thought. Um, I don't know if my gameplay experience would improve if the map was better. There we go. Um, you love that the map is bad? Yeah, because it makes you work harder, right? It makes you really look around and use it as a guide and not a hard set. I need to take a left at this next turn. Oh, I'm out of... Alright. So that's why I'm kind of on the fence about it. This game is uh, giving you real Nazca the Valley of the Wind vibes. You know, I just watched that the other night. I had seen it before, but KY hadn't, so we watched it together, um, and he liked it. But yeah, I totally, I totally see that. It's definitely the like the ruins and things falling into dismay. Heavily inspired by Eva. Do you mean Eva? Evangelion? Love a good Miyazaki film. Uh, let's go down first. What's- what are- what are- what's your favorite Miyazaki films? Chat. What- what are- what are your favorites? Because I love Mononoke. Mononoke might be my all-time favorite. Ah, uh, see, like, this door we can't get through until we have all eight. But, like, I know I've missed a couple of areas, but how have I missed, like, five? Mononoke's your favorite? Hell yeah. I also really like Castle in the Sky. Or Laputa, depending on your region. I wasn't looking closely enough. I was like, I was looking at, at a door. Ah, oh, get me out of here, get me out of here. Ah. Uh, I need to be more careful. I don't want to redo a whole bunch of this. Hello, welcome in. Mononoke is awesome. Nasco was one of the first ones you saw and holds a special place in your heart. Name a bad Hayao Miyazaki film. Ooh. All right. I didn't really like Ponyo, but I should probably watch it again to like know if that's legit or if I just didn't like it the first time I saw it. Um. 
some of the earlier stuff I don't like as much also. Not my ponyo. Or ponyo. Uh, I, I was living in Japan when that movie came out and I think part of the problem was that that song was getting played on repeat everywhere. And it, it, was, it was the better version, don't get me wrong. The Japanese version of that song is infinitely better than the American version. It's like, they also say the, uh, the title more correctly over there. So it's, it's like, they say Ponyo, but over here we say Ponyo. Um, Uh, my partner uh, showed me Nausicaa way after they'd shown you Eva and a bunch of Ghibli stuff. Gotcha. I am currently watching Evangelion. I am, like, really close to the end. I've got maybe, like, seven, six or seven episodes left, so I know, like, stuff's about to get crazy, uh, but I haven't seen the ending yet. <laughs> the ending is so problematic in some ways. Oh, boy, I'm looking forward to it. That's so cool. I love the art in this game. Ponyo is kind of fine. Didn't think. Um, don't think I'd say it was bad. It was much more childlike. And I think that's why it just didn't appeal to me as much. I just prefer the more adult themes of the other movies. Am I gonna watch the mini movies too? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch whatever like the big recommendations are from people, uh, for sure. Cause I know that like there's a movie that replaces the ending of the show. Um, uh, totally locked. Okay. How do I get in there? I'll figure it out. Oh. I did like the refreshing, gentle story of Kiki's delivery service. Watched it uh, last thanks. Watched it. Hi, last Thanksgiving with your cousin. Would recommend. Oh God, that's such. I love that movie because it's. I'm a sucker for anything that has to do with figuring out your identity. Because oh my God, I loved Soul. Soul was like one of my favorite Pixar movies of all time, I think. The To end the series is, without a doubt, one of your favorite endings to any series ever. Not to build up my expectations or anything. Gave you much pause, Allie. Um, so, I, something I have seen uh, to to its conclusion is Gurren Lagann. Um, and I get very similar vibes to, to Eva from Gurren Lagann. Oh, hell yeah, we've got one. Soul was really, really good. I was expecting it to not be good at all. Oh no. Oh god, what's going on? Oh shit, what's happening? Whoa! Yo, this dude's having a bad day. 
I didn't do that. He did it. I didn't press any buttons there. He destroyed the ice. Oh, poor guy. What a rough day. I have a hunch. Ow, ow, what? Oh, I fell. <laughs> eh? Let me out. Oh, it's not that one. Ooh, ooh, secret. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, that was great, but it wasn't what I expected. I thought it was going to be how to open the store. Oh, chat is moving. Uh, roommate had you watch all of Cowboy Bebop and Wolf's Rain. Depressed for days. Oh, no. So do I know anything about the making of this game at all? Not too much. I'm trying to be very cautious not to like spoil myself by reading up on it. I went into this game relatively blind. Um, I have, I had played about an hour of it um, prior to streaming it because I like picked it up and then put it down and then didn't get around to it for a long time. But uh, if you've got fun facts about the making of that aren't spoilery, you are absolutely welcome to share them because I love learning about that stuff. One of my favorite things after playing Outer Wilds was going and watching the making of documentary after I'd finished the game. Because, oh my gosh, I love that game. You Oh, you cry at the drop of a hat. Your wife just rolls her eyes. I don't cry very often, but when I do, it's like a whole fucking deal. <laughs> I'm like, someone hold me. Uh, the main dev has a heart and blood disease that is a metaphor for the fact that he has something inside his own body that can just kill him at any moment. Oh, wow. Dang. I really like when game developers can use something like that to create really amazing art. Um... I haven't played the game, per se, but I really enjoy... Well, not enjoy. Enjoy is the wrong word. Um, um, I know that there is a game developer who uh, lost a child, lost a, lost a baby, um, and to help deal with their grief, the parents made a game um, called That Dragon Cancer. And I haven't played it because I don't think I have it in my heart. Um, but I really appreciate that video games can give an outlet for that. For to, to help you process that kind of grief. Art is just an amazing tool. Appreciate, is that the word? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe? I don't know. God of War has some great behind the scenes stuff. Oh, I loved God of War. I should look that up. Seems like a very story driven thing. Yeah. Oh, I remember this place. This was like a. Oh! I'm pretty sure I went through here like pretty thoroughly, so maybe I'll leave. Maybe it's time that we get to some new areas. As much as I like going through all this stuff, I feel like I'm not gonna find too much more at first glance. Let's go back up.
Yeah, I appreciate. Is that the word you're looking for? Yeah, I think it, I think it is. Unless there's like, I'm sure there's a better word. Um, oh, I tried to go around it. Um, it's funny. There are some words that I've noticed in my vocabulary that I use way more than others, um, to the point where I think I overuse them. Um, one of the big ones for me is statistically. I say that a lot. <laughs> uh, whether it be true or just to make a point, I say statistically often. Uh, and I think appreciate I say a lot as well. Not a bad thing, but... Let's go back. Let's go back to, to base camp here. That was a reply all episode. Yeah, there was another, there was another um, podcast that talked about it too. I don't think it was reply all because I don't think I've ever listened to that one. The reply all was named the cathedral. Maybe it was. Maybe I did listen to that podcast because I, I definitely listened to a podcast called The Cathedral. Audio Lab reported it. Thank you. Yeah, it was definitely audio, uh, Radio Lab. I love Radio Lab. I haven't listened to them in a while, but when I was working in a warehouse, I used to listen to Radio Lab. Like every time they had a new episode, I was like ready for it. I like my little blue guy. And I like my little gold sword. Oh, pretty far in. Yeah, I, I, um, I don't know if I can zoom out here, but I've done, wait, no, I know. Ha! Yeah, I've done the three, the left top and, and right areas, uh, but I'm still missing a lot of the triangles. Yeah, the mirror reflects. I always go to check it because I broke it. The first time I came in here, I went up to the, uh, I went up to the mirror and I just, like, went and hacked and smashed uh and every time i've come back it's been broken and i like almost feel bad like i want to fix it <laughs> but yeah it works i love that what a good touch it's only like that one but what a what a great little detail uh let's see seven years bad luck i yeah uh i don't know if i want to upgrade my bomb We could upgrade our guns. I think I'd rather upgrade my dash. Where's my dash upgrade? Oh, health? We can upgrade our health? Are these, are these must be opening new stores as I'm progressing in the game, because I swear I didn't notice them before. Yeah, yes, absolutely. No question. Also, look at this little Look at this, uh, look at this little lab here, the plants, lab equipment and stuff. What a, what a cool little design. This guy nursed you back to health and brought you home and you just smash his shit up. Yep, the store's always been there. I am not a very observant person, but I will say because I miss stuff like that, I just get to be surprised and excited about it later. Works for me. That's why I like games like this, where you go through half the game and you miss a ton of shit, right? And then you come back and you find it all. It's just so rewarding, you know? Uh, whoops. Uh, let's go around. I think I've been here. Yeah, I got that. Never forget Hades. Make making your own game content. 
Pretty much. Well, sort of. I mean, it's definitely in the game's design to do that, right? Like, the, I think the first area that you go to by design doesn't have as much for you to kind of, like, sneak around, or it's not as obvious. And then when you get to the second area, it's more obvious. I think that's just my impression anyways. But, but by making it more obvious later, it gives the player incentive to go back. Also, if you're wondering why I'm just, like, doing loops and circles, it's just because I'm, like, looking for little hidden paths that... <sighs> Like that. Gimme. Yum. Love it. Sometimes I wonder if I went into game development, what kind of games I would make. What, what kind of stories would I want to tell? What kind of art style would I want to show people? You would make this game and try to sell it as your own. <laughs> oh, that's sad though. That's... I'm sorry. Sorry, little bounty hunter guy. You killed a lot of people though. Doggo. Is that your dog? <laughs> Wart home to change gear. Oh, uh, chat, should we do it? Should we go change our gear and come back? Or do we keep going? Do we press on? The badass is dead. Did say I love stories about identity. Yeah, I would definitely... I, um... Yeah, we're gonna do it. We're gonna go back and then we're gonna come back. I'll be quicker about it this time. Um... I love stories about... Queer... Identities and... Storytelling and... Minorities and stuff. Like... I definitely would want to create media that focuses on that. Ooh. That's cool. Oh, this one's pink, though. You guys, let's do the pink one for a little while. Yo. Yo. Yeah! Look how cute we are! Assume you loved Life is Strange? Yeah, I loved Life is Strange. Um, well, I loved the first one, and I, I, I loved Beyond, uh, Before the Storm. I don't, I don't care when anybody, uh, disagrees with me on that one. I, I'm faster now. Oh yeah, I think I, yeah, that feels, it feels like I am. Just a tiny bit. Yeah, yeah, I definitely am. Oh, wow. That's cool. Um, I know a lot of people didn't really like Before the Storm, but I really liked it. Uh, Life is Strange 2. I loved the theme. I loved the setting. And I loved the characters, but not the overall, like, plot. Um... I found it an unrealistic example of superheroes. I, I, I just, um, without getting into to big spoilers of Life is Strange 2, the primary storyline is escaping to, uh, uh, escaping the country, leaving the country. And I just th thought it was a little bit too unrealistic for a teenage boy and his young, young brother to do that. It seemed like both irresponsible of the brother, but also uh, just 
it's super impractical. Like, good, good, good lord. You're a geologist, so environmental storytelling and Victorian concept of the sibylline would be necessary of your game. That's so cool. Um, one of our other VIPs, I don't know if they're lurking right now, but they are also a geologist. Maybe they'll stop in later. I'm sorry, I wasn't looking. Okay. I wasn't sure if there was something else there that I didn't see or what. You love the second one, Allie? Yeah, yeah, and we've talked about that, Allie. I, I totally understand uh, why a lot of people love the game, yourself included. And I agree that it was... Um, there, there were a lot of things that I really liked about it. It just... I, there were some things that just didn't appeal to me as much. I think... just notice something about that image that you never noticed before. I love that when when you're still learning new things about a game, potentially years after playing it for the first time. Let's just let's just go down. Let's see what's what's going down here. Uh Sko didn't play the second one. Looking forward to the third one. True Colors looks so good. It looks amazing from the trailer. You know, I I just I'm just, I'm so, so excited. I'm actually really torn. So chat, I'd be curious to know your thoughts about this. Uh, the third one comes out, uh, I think it got postponed because it was originally going to come out like September 1st or October 1st, but I haven't heard anything about September 1st. So I think it got pushed back. Um, I want to play that as soon as humanly possible, but I also know that if I play it on launch week, other like, there's going to be a lot of people playing it. So I'm wondering if I should play the remastered versions of the first game first, get through that, and... Oh, it's 2022 now? Fuck. Damn it. Uh, I'm wondering if I should play the remastered versions on stream first, and then pick up True Colors, like a month or so, month or two after it actually comes out. And also, like, give chat a minute to play it, because that's a game that I would never want to watch streamed. I'd want to play it first, and I'd have to play it in my own time. So I'm curious what your thoughts are there on that. I think that playing the remastered first would be really fun. Can't do that yet. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because you wouldn't want to spoil it for yourself at launch. Yeah, totally. Whoa! That sound was surprising. Ooh. Oh, I need some water. Upshot of that is that you might get it, uh, not for full price, might pay, yeah, get a little bit of discount. That's a fair point. That's a very good point. I'd rather get it on sale. Because I'm cheap. Um, the other game that I want to play uh, on stream is, <laughs> what is it, Twin Mirror? Still says September 2021. Interesting. Okay. Um, wait, was that the same one? Hold on. This is the one I just did. Okay, just, just double checking. I don't want to miss anything here. Um, I haven't played Twin Mirror. And the name is so dumb. I won't lie. The name sounds really dumb. Oh god, oh god. Whoops. <gasps> ah, no! Rip. Uh, but like Twin Mirror, 
right? Like, come on, Twin Peaks, Black Mirror, just like mush them together. I'm curious if the, uh, if the actual storyline is going to be similar to either of those stories. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Let me out. Made it. What is that emote? Common criticism of the game. It's like all PS1 stands uh, naming their game Silent Resident Hill Evil. Yeah. No, I getcha, I getcha. Or, uh... What was the new one, the PS5 exclusive that... Returnal? This is so dumb. I don't have enough keys. I never have enough keys. Throwing some food together? Hell yeah, let us know what you eat. Oh, I, I get what that symbol is now. I understand it. I... It's a Hollow Knight death emo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I need to replay Hollow Knight. I I struggled with Hollow Knight. It was so difficult. I played it on Switch, and I really liked it, but it was just so hard. Um, I don't play very challenging games very often. Uh, like, I'm never going to be someone that plays Dark Souls, I don't think. Um... And that game, just learning the muscle memory for it was a challenge for me. But I think playing it now, I'd have an easier time. I've just been playing games a lot more. It's okay. That was just a practice run. Also, it's only 840. I feel like I've got so much time. Oh, oh thank you for the follow. Hold on. Ah, crap. Get out of here. Okay. Thank you for that follow, Tammy. Oh no, oh no. I should have healed before. In fact, it's 1.41 a.m. Which uh, time zone are you in, if you don't mind sharing? the your general area you also do not have to i'm i am in massachusetts u.s boston area uk one of uh one of my lovely mods is from the uk east coast yeah boston is east coast Dave! Dave, what are you doing up? <laughs> it's late here. <laughs> One of these days, well, on the weekends, I tend to stream earlier, but I, I like to try to stream earlier in the day when I can because, I don't know, I feel bad when it's so late and people want to tune in. But... I, I just have to be, oh God, this put me so far back. Uh, that damn work schedule though is, is what gets me. Hit, 
I hit the button. You stream afternoons your time when it's convenient for essentially nobody in the world. Oh no. Okay, hold on, hold on. Afternoon streams for you are magic when I'm working. I, I follow several UK streamers that I can have on the background <laughs> while I'm while I'm sending emails, you know. I will definitely return that follow post stream. Cuz I'm I'm always looking for for more folk. Where to go? Oh god, it's right there. All right. Slave drivers at work, am I right? You know it. You know it, Sko. Working me to the bone. Ah. I didn't see you there. Scary large machine guy. Ah. Ah. Oh no. <laughs> That was rude. Oh, that was so rude. Charcuterie for dinner? Al, are you gonna share that shark coochie? God, I haven't had charcuterie in a while. A hot minute. Oh god. Why am I so bad at this game? It's a trap! <laughs> Talking about work on stream is a trap. It's not a pretty shark coochie. <laughs> Uh, I've been making bruschetta a lot recently, actually, and I, I don't get baguettes for it. Instead, what I've been doing is uh, making making the like slurry of tomato and onion and garlic and spices and all of that. Oh, I bet this didn't save when I went here this last time. It sure didn't. Yes. <laughs> so true. <laughs> Gotta watch what I say. The the boss is watching. Bumblebeam! Hello! Welcome in! Uh Boss is watching what? <laughs> Uh, a lot of my coworkers and supervisors and boss all have Twitch streams, um, and and therefore it's common to see people I work with in chat. There we go. Ah. Bumblebeam, how are you doing tonight? Is that it? Am I missing anything? I feel like I'm missing something. Maybe not. I want to get some health before I do a bunch of random exploring. And also save. There we go. Get that little save icon there. Shark Coochie? Yeah, charcuterie. Feeling tipsy. All is well, what am I playing? This is Hyper Light Drifter. This is like a beautiful indie game uh, that has a lot of like, I don't know if I'd say open world, but exploratory vibes and secret hunting. Um, whoops. It's, it's very fun. Um, I very much have been enjoying this. Oh. oh. 
Oh wow, I've never seen like a spawn point like that before. Oh crap! Yeah, how are, how are you? Uh, feeling? Yeah. Ah. How am I how am I tackling this? Yeah, did I- I think I read in an, in another chat, maybe it was Orcs chat earlier, that you you were having not a great day. I- I think that was you. I was half watching while I was reading up on this blizzard garbage, so I was like half in an angry fueled rage when I was also trying to keep up with Orcs chat. Oh dear lord. work was shit um uh, but tonight made it better his chat was wild today oh was it i, I was like watching half of it when was orc's chat not wild i love orc i love your new like mini game large face <laughs> that was i lost my shit when you switched that and like continued to just play the game normally that was so fucking funny oh my god anyone who's not following orc Please go check out his stream. Give him a follow. Cause you'll 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 be in for a good laugh. Ooh, got him. The best hot tub streamer on Twitch. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. I, I came back over here because I was certain I must have run past something that was secrety, but maybe. Maybe not. It's alright, let's just let's get out of here. Uh, but I'm really sorry to hear that your work was shit, but you know what it is great? I well, assuming you work a standard Monday through Friday type of gig, it's the weekend. It's Friday. So. Yeah, it's the weekend. Here we are. Free until Monday. Hell yeah. But I hope that things get better. Com oh god. I hope that things are better on Monday for you. Oh god, the game does not pause. I should have done this in advance. That's fine. That's fine. I just wanted to know what... Uh, I want to switch my gun. I want to switch this one to this one. That's what I want to do. Is there any health in here? This is, I think, the... Oh, wow. All right. All right. So this is actually just shapes and beats now. Ah! Oh. Yikes. This this is the first boss that they haven't given us an ample amount of health leading up to it. They really surprised us with this one. But I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh good, I'm glad it saved my gun. Alright. Can I kill these guys? Oh, I sure can. All right, that's fine. We're we're learning the rules of the combat right now. We're not we're not going for the kill. What is this? I am not your main demographic for hot tubbing. <laughs> oh gosh. 
In the name of inclusion, I will get on board with the hot tubbing, I guess. <laughs> if that's not a rolling endorsement, I don't know what is. Fuck that weak ass pillar, right? Oh my god. All right, let's let's go with the shotgun for now. Yeah, we, Allie, we got this. We got this first try. Oops, I didn't mean to go back around. That's fine. These are all practice runs. What? This is hard, you guys. Doing this without taking any damage. All right, I think that the shotgun is too short range, so maybe I do need the other gun. I haven't tried the new, new one. I'll go with this one for now. First try, every try. Easy. Strafe and shoot. That's the wrong gun. It's all practice till you win. Ugh. Is there really no health around here? Like... That was just a bad shot. I think he's just respawning these as fast as I'm killing them. Alright, so I should just focus on him and not his little minions, I think. Okay, okay, alright. When did this game become bullet hell? Uh, right now. It wasn't bullet hell before. And now I just have to beat an entire boss with no hits, but you know. Would you stop going around so quick? Rap. Hey, Guxy, hello. Mr. G. Yeah, that one felt pretty good. Oh, God, that, that first one is hard. Mr. G. <laughs> I'm like gonna remember that forever. <laughs> I think 2 2 a.m. is late enough. Good luck with this whole business. Well, Tammy, thank you so much for hanging out, and uh, I appreciate that follow. Um, we're gonna need the luck. We're gonna we're gonna need the luck. Someone gifted you a sub in Kyber's stream. That's awesome. Yeah, Kyber Kyber has a really wonderful and generous community. They're really nice people over there. I should follow up with Kai. We were talking about streaming um, together again at some point and just hadn't gotten around to coordinating it. 
He's over on the west coast, and so he streams generally later than I do. And it can be a little bit hard to coordinate sometimes. But I should follow up. God, I think I need more health when I go into this fight. Like, I don't know if I can do this with only three health, or two health even. Um, but yeah, Tammy, have a great night. We will catch you around, I'm sure. F's in chat. Uh, okay. Oh, that one was too quick, too quick. All right. What's tough with this game is you can't dash through things. You're not invincible while you're dashing. He starts at a good time, but his streams can get long, especially on the weekend. Yeah, yes, for sure. When did this game get so difficult? It wasn't this tough before. You get tired after three hours, you don't know how people do it. Yeah, my max is four. I can't stream longer than four hours. At that point, I just like, I don't know what to say. Also, we're gonna come back when we have more health. I'm, I'm going back. There was another area that I could get to that we walked past earlier. I'm going back. I don't think drilling that is going to <laughs> be the answer. Oh, but hey, secret. You did six yesterday. You were determined. How late did you go until? Running on pure rage. Uh, you know a streamer touches grass when they stream less than nine hours at a time. Two ish? Oh, that's not that's not too bad. Yeah, I just find that like after regardless of what time I start streaming, at like three to four hours. I start to just repeat myself a lot, um, and I I just can't really keep up with chat. I can't really hold a conversation. I just run out of ideas, you know. So where was this this door? I think it was like way back towards the beginning. Yeah, here it is. Whole new area. What? But I just need one. Oh, wait, no, I didn't get the one because of the... Because that was a boss. Alright, we'll come back. Let's go, you're gonna pop out because you gotta feed the doggo. Finish, it, finish up critical role. Uh, yeah, thanks for stopping in. I'm glad you were able to hang out. I'll see you later. Take it easy. Hey, help. So there's another area I can go down to. This I I really like the the variation of um landscapes in this game a lot. Let's check out this area over here. Well, let's go up first. 
Dead end. Well, now we know. Ugh. You guys ever have trouble with, like, so I got the AC running on the side here, and, like, it's not blowing directly on me, but it's enough of, like, the cool, dry air that it just, like, makes my eyes hurt. Try to point it upwards a little bit more. Uh, I don't like using AC too much. I just... I, I'm, I'm basically a refrigerator. I'm always cold. Uh, reach out or text next week. Got non-chat stuff to chat about. Exciting. I I feel a little bad actually. I just saw that there's like things in there that are alive. But we're gonna we're gonna murder it. Murder. Cause it's fun. <laughs> oh, we're not not done. Not we're done with that area. We'll come back here first. That should be a command. Nice. I'm glad that that had a sound effect because I would not have noticed it otherwise. Well, that was poorly done. That's fine. What? Oh. I've been trying to brainstorm about some ways that I could improve my stream. Just kind of like... I don't know. I don't even know what that would be. I'm try I try to think of things that I've seen in other people's another one that only needs one. Um a lot of places I can't go until I beat that boss. But I don't know. I've been kind of getting to a point in my stream where I wonder what I need to do to really improve it further. Uh it, it would be nice to get a light or something. Uh, maybe like a better camera at some point or another. But stylistically... Maybe like some over... Like not overlays, but like updated artwork. Because right now the overlays that I have is just this like... Uh... Like those themes, you know? And I like it. I think it's nice, but it was free. It was like definitely one of those like starting soon or starting Twitch. If you're wondering why I did that, it's because there's this icon on the floor here and it makes me think that there's something hidden. But maybe just a light. I wish I could kill those. Bought some cat headphones to go with your cat theme? Hell yeah. Rude. Bird overlays? Wings and feathers? Oh, that'd be cute. That'd be fun to really lean into the bird theme. Oh, 
gosh. Uh, thought about chicken wings when I said wings. Why am I always hungry? Or if it's because we're we're trying to get swole. I have found that like now that I'm working out more and stuff, I can't watch food related things. I can't watch cooking shows. It just it makes me too hungry. Oh god, I didn't even see that one. What? Rude. Nah. Now I want wings. Join in the thick life. That is not a bad life. That's a good life. As I was out of uh, explosions. Come at me. Yeah, recharge my gun. I almost hit that instinctively. Ooh. Oh god, oh god. Yikes, yikes. Ugh. Why am I not... Ugh. There we go. Oh, it helps. A little bit. Oh, God. Using it again. Don't care. tough that was tough okay hot wings are actually not bad to eat as long as they're uh, not breaded yeah yeah totally it, it all depends what you put on it right like uh, soy, gar soy garlic wings lightly breaded like korean wings for hot wings with no breading i am not picky i will eat any kind of chicken wing i love chicken wings oh my gosh I have a funny, I have a funny story from when I was in college. Um, so, uh, when I was in college, I, damn it. Where's the thing then? I can't hit this with a gun, right? All right, whatever. So when I was in college, I went on a couple of dates with someone who, uh, they were new to the area, like they came to, oh god, do I have to redo the whole fucking area? It's fine. Fine. Keto life. Put 200 grams of sugar on your wings. <laughs> Uh, anyway, yeah, I... Drop it! I just can't get through this area. Uh, on our first date, we went to, like, a bar, and they had wings, so we, we got wings. And then on our second date, we went to a place that did, like, fancy grilled cheese. Um... It's like a restaurant. And then our third date, 
we went to a movie and got popcorn and you know the popcorn at the movie theaters these days is just like dripping with butter and oil and like uh at, at one point he like paused during or during or after the movie or something and he was like why do you always take me to places that are really messy <laughs> And I, like, I didn't even realize it. I was just like, I don't know, it's good. Oh my gosh. Oh god, one second. I see the raid. I just, if I don't kill this guy, I will die and have to restart this whole area. Hold one moment, please. Did we do it? Are we good? Are we safe? Oh my god, I think we're safe. Hello, thank you so much for the raid. Um, Dr. Sweet Brown, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And hold up, wait. What's going on here? Critical hits. Critical hits live raided. And do did we get a double raid? Is that what happened? Am I reading that correctly? Thank you so much for the bits. Thank you for the biddies. Oh, epic. Epics and fish. Thank you. Thank you for following. Thank you so much, you guys. Welcome in. Oh, scrolling back down through chat. Thank you for getting those shout outs, Allie. wasn't supposed to read <laughs> you get a shout out anyways you were in critical hits stream gotcha okay uh, probably like one of the like the auto host or whatever but regardless i appreciate it how are you guys doing how is your stream dr friendship hello this is dr sweet as well how am i doing i'm doing well we're we we ranted a lot about blizzard we had a whole like 40 minute rant about the lawsuit um i'm definitely gonna upload a highlight after the stream uh because i had a lot of things to say about it uh and we had some good discussion in chat which was which was very fun also hello parallel cg welcome in Sorry if I missed anybody, but came in like right when I was doing this little like area here that that we've tried a few times and keep dying, so I, I had to like focus. Uh but scared sweet brown senseless. What were you playing? What were you playing? I see. Little Nightmares 2. Oh fun. Oh fun. And some Jackpox party most recently. How was Little Nightmares? I've been... That's a prequel, right? I haven't played either of them, but they've been on my list. I'm very curious about them. I'm gonna spend like 600 bits. It's like the jump scare, right? With the bits donation, something like that. It's fantastic so far. Glad to hear it. Gotta go. Have a nice one. Well, thanks for coming in with the raid, and thanks for that follow, and for the and for the biddies. Appreciate it, man. Take it easy. Parallel CG. Thank you for that follow. Also, critical hits. If you've got to go do your post stream unwind stuff. Absolutely no pressure to, to hang out. I know what it's like when you just finish streaming and you just gotta eat. Oh, why did this game get so hard all of a sudden? No! Chat for a bit. How's Hyperlight going? Uh, it's It's been a little challenging tonight. I got to one of the later areas and it's it's tough. It's, it's 
They're making me work for it. But I, I gotta say, I love this game. It's so goddamn pretty. Um, I'm just constantly impressed by it. There we go. There it is. Whew. Whew. They're making me focus. They're making me focus. Oh no. I'm so glad that wasn't my last health. <laughs> oh, I could see myself doing that. Just like being really confident. Oh yeah, we fucking got it. And then just walk off the fucking cliff. Oh, I've been uh I've been playing more Gloomhaven lately also. I know that's relevant to to a handful of you in chat right now. No, fuck. Oh, I didn't realize that there was the uh the turret there. Yeah, Gloomhaven. Yeah, I've been playing. I'm about halfway through, um, uh, what is it? Uh, the, the two-player variant that it's, it's the expansion. It's Lions. What, what is it? Uh, something of the lion. I'm blanking on the name. But I'm about halfway through it. Oh, that was the worst one yet. The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Shit! That's fine. I'm loving it. I think it's really, really fun. Um, it's... I don't know if it's the heaviest game I've ever played in terms of tabletop, but it's up there. Um, I've also played Oath and uh, Pax Pamir, which are pretty heavy for me. Um, but lucky lucky for me, I'm playing with my partner who has a very good understanding of these types of games and is able to like handle a lot of the setup and um, can can really just like walk me through it and I don't feel heavily judged. <laughs> I, I probably didn't need to do that, but that's that's fine. I know we're coming into this area. Jaws of the Lion. That's what it's called, also. Once you figure out how a character plays, it's a blast. Yeah, so the way that we're playing, uh, I'm playing like the range, the range character, and then KY is playing the, the like brute force, goes in all the doors first and reveals everything, and then I stand in the back and I snipe him, um, and it it works really well. And it's been very very fun. And it's like my character has enough variation to it that if I want to do something a little bit differently, I can. Or like if the situation allows, I don't feel like I have to approach something in a specific way. Uh, like even in our game last night, there was one area in particular that I was set up really well to just do a ton of damage. And it felt awesome. I felt so, like, smart and powerful having figured out my deck and my the cards I was taking into that combat. It was very fun. Who 
Cool. Cool. Oh, excellent. Very. Hmm. Got it. Okay. Uh, gonna lurk for a bit. Hell yeah. Enjoy the lurk. Have some tasty, tasty food. And thank you so much for that raid. Really appreciate it. Have a great night. Well, missed. Okay. That does two damage. That does two damage. Good to know. Good to know. So if I get hit even once, I should uh, heal. How am I going to get close to him? That sound effect is really cool. Okay, alright. Shit. Yikes. Okay. so close that was only one hit oh i almost had him all right we got him on this one we got him for sure all right come at me man i'm ready for you <laughs> first try let's go uh, not quite. So we're giving it real attempts, though. We're gonna get it. I'm confident we can get this one. The other one I had no confidence in with just starting with so little health, but this guy... wasn't so bad. Deep breathing, deep breathing. Feeling a little tense. Y'all, it feels so much better after having that huge ass rant. <laughs> I won't lie. I feel better. I was so angry earlier. I can't get over that. I was like... My... my I was like shaking. I was so angry. And then afterwards, I was just like, oh, yes, better. Yay, we got our one thing. So now we can go into some other areas. What is this? Still angry, no lie. I mean, I'm definitely still angry, like in principle. I just like, I can think about it without feeling it. You know, the, the difference there. It's like, I can now be more like objective thinking about it. But yeah, I, if I if I go back and, to, and think about everything, it, it will make me angry again, absolutely. I think I'm just like, 
I got it off my mind is probably a better way to phrase what's going on. This is freaky, also. What cool design, though. Where are we? Huh? Oh, I can jump down. Oh, they hid. Are they eaten the stuff. They're all scared. Oh, it'll be so exciting when I can get into those areas. Very curious what's there. Okay. This way? Yeah, alright. You have to dash to, like, just the right spot. It like kind of gives you a hint, but not too much. Oh, can't go here yet. Thank you game for giving me that little indication there. So this is where we came down, right? Was there anything else over to the right? Oh yes, this door. Man, I'm so bad at the quick dash. So let's go down here again, now that we have one of the little corner triangle things. And then where was that door? That is the question. I think it was over this way. So I remember coming all the way over here and then going back around. Because I couldn't progress. Yeah. Door! Oh, that's cool. He injured himself. That is so rare, I feel. Give me be. This is, like, suspiciously empty of stuff. Like, enemies. Why is everyone dead? That seems to be the theme of this game a little bit. We just keep finding dead people. These ones, like, are kind of dark, though. They're, like, strapped to the table. They, they had a rough... Uh... A rough demise. Oops. Let's go down.
We'll go there next. Is that... Oh, it's not locked. I thought that would be locked. Wow, okay, there's paths everywhere. A lot of choices. I do like that a lot when we, uh... know we can come back to some place. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. Posture check. Oh, I thought I was... And I'll do a stretch. Thank you for the posture check. Ugh. You know what I should do? You know what I should do? It was when I have a posture check, I should stand. Because I got a standing desk. I should make that a point redemption, is I'll stand for like 20 minutes during the stream. Ugh. Try to just keep my shoulders back. Hydrate. I will. Hydrate. Might as well go all out. I'll stand. I'll stand for a minute. Are you guys ready? Let me make sure nothing's, like, caught on my desk in any weird way. Okay. I'm actually gonna pause the game so I don't die while I'm doing this. Da-da-da-da-da-da! Here it goes! Ugh, I stand. I didn't stand very much to- oh god, the camera's gonna be all off. It's okay. There we go. Ta-da! Standing. Oh, I needed that health. I kind of want to go back before I progress. Uh, yeah, I want to go back before I go through that door. I want to know where that other path leads. Did I go up this way? Oh, I did not. There's many paths. Okay. I don't use that enough. Damn it. When did it last save? Okay. Oh, this is kind of far back, actually. Well, not super. Just, just... Oh, shit. All right, it's fine. so bad. Ah. 
I really need to get a like a fatigue mat for um, standing because I, I got this for standing during work um, to keep my legs from turning into jello, you know? Um, but even after standing for just like 30 minutes, I realize like my knees kind of hurt and my feet get sore. So at some point I'm gonna pick up a, it's like a mat that'll help a little bit. Uh, please don't kill me. Hey! Alright, glad I came up here first. Cool. that other area that I started to go to and then turned around so I'm curious I think that was here this path oh I forgot that I had that if I hit one of their shoot me yeah I can redirect their thing I forgot that I got that upgrade Creepy tube monsters. Indeed. Where does this go? I don't think there was another path there. Oh, and this just loops around to where I was. Cool. So I just, I got a couple extra health packs. And did I go? Yes, I got there. It's kind of hard to remember what you've done in that death count, right? In that life, if you've gone to that like secret area. Are these guys, like, me, or are they all monsters? Always pays to explore, yeah. Not loving that. What's next, game? Got some bigger guys. Get me out of here. I really like when they can hurt each other, because that seems really rare, so when it happens, it's very satisfying. We almost have full health. Ugh, and then that happens. That's fine. At least it didn't put us all the way back. And you have a lot of space, those guys aren't so bad. We go I got some full health great whoa what got me there not sure what that's about
All right, full health. Let's go. Oh. I'm trying to send that second bomb and it just won't go. Maybe I should take some out before I even go over there to shoot them with, from range. That might be better. I don't know if killing those does anything, but I kind of assume that it does. There's like no good line of sight. good. Allie, what are you up to tonight? I know you're not streaming. Are you doing anything? Uh, got any, like, movies lined up or hanging out on Twitch? I know it's earlier for you than it is for me. I know it's, like, it's, I know that you, because you're, like, shifted an hour later, like, you get up an hour later, and, and so it's like your whole day is the same as mine, but shifted. But I'm also like, you have so much more time than I do. <laughs> All right, time for another boss. This guy's got a bow and arrow. What? Whoa! Whoa! Yikes, okay. I wonder if I can deflect those. I can. Oh, I can take those out with my bomb. That's really good to know. Oh, shit. Nothing tonight, just chilling. Tomorrow is movie night with your peeps. What are you gonna watch? <laughs> I like that he takes out the other enemy. He's like, nah, this one's mine. so bad in this fight. Don't get too close. hoping I could dash over it. Marathoning Fear Street and Netflix. Ooh, you have to tell me how it is. I don't know anything about it.
almost forgot to heal. There we go. Whew. That felt really good. When you, I, when you get the rhythm for these bosses, it feels very rewarding. Nah, Dave, no, no worries at all. I am happy to have you here, whether it be lurking or in our thoughts, if you're doing other stuff. There, there's never any obligation to come to my stream, you know? It's just really nice when I get to see you guys. Um, seen the first two parts, really good. Campy 80s and 90s slasher feels. Oh, fun. Every now and again, I'm in the in the right mood for one of those. <laughs> in our thoughts. <laughs> Dave's like, oh no. Arco, yeah, that goes for everybody. Goes for everybody. Whoa. This is getting really cool, you guys. Oh, sick. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I was so mean to the game devs. They're like, this thing is temporary. You will fall. But we're going to show you something that looks fucking cool. <laughs> Look at that. That's so pretty. Kind of like Ash meets Mike Myers meets Jason Perry entertaining. Oh, fun. Thoughts and prayers. Yeah. Oh, sick. I, it feels like we got this way too easily. Like, I feel like there's way more that I still have to explore. But now that we have all four of these, like, is this going to teleport us to some new area if we go back there? Oh, I'm so curious, but I'm absolutely not ready to leave and move on to the whatever the final area is. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Heal it up. Save. Let's go back down to this one. Maybe we can try that first boss again. I don't think that was down here. No, it wasn't. Oh god, chat, where was it? Where was that first door that we found? Uh, there it was. We found it, we found it. Uh, before we go down, I'm gonna have a really quick, uh, a bio break. It'll be two minutes. I'll be right back.
All right, we back. Hello. Oh, gosh. Fifth Element is a weird film. Dude, Fifth Element is one of my favorite movies. Well, at least it used to be. I don't know if it still is, but it's up there for me. One of my favorite sci-fi movies. I'll say that at least. Multipass. Lilo Dallas Multipass. Uh, da, 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 da. You beat Final Fantasy VII. Oh, awesome. I didn't realize you beat it. Did you love it? Did you love every minute of it? Uh, should we do the boss first and then do this? What do you think, chat? Oh, I didn't mean to go through the door. Yeah, you cried. <laughs> I understand. It's one of your faves as well, Allie. I'm glad to hear it. Oh my god. Fifth Element is just like a classic, you know? I feel like it was one of the first movie, sci-fi movies that really did a lot of the things that that one did. I don't know. It was really revolutionary, I think, for the genre. <laughs> Biggest crush on Cloud. <laughs> found it odd but you liked it yeah did you watch it more recently dave because i i like grew up with that movie um we'll do the boss we'll do the boss later i'm gonna do this first i'm more intrigued by by this door than that boss uh because when i watched it again as i got older i was like oh okay maybe this isn't like quite as amazing as when i was a kid i guess um, I think mostly of just like, man saves day, love conquers all. Uh, but as a kid, I just loved it. Absolutely loved it. Always doing different things, but his movies are always real good. I don't even know if I've seen other movies that he's made. Whoa. Oh, jeez. Oh, God, those are like honing rockets. I want to kill him, though. Oh, God, I can't stand up fast enough. He's got a unique style. He did the professional and the Valerian. Valerian? Val Valerian? Which gives fifth element vibes. I'll have to look them up. I haven't actually. I don't know if I've even heard of them, to be honest. Oh, God. Oh, God! This guy! This one guy is a dick! All right, but what other sci-fi movies are, like, really standouts for you guys of, like, staples in, in like, your favorites list? Because for me, uh, Interstellar and The Martian are both up there. Um, I really like... Oh, this, damn it. Uh, more indie, but I really liked Your Mother. Um, or is it just Mother uh, on Netflix? 2001 Space Odyssey. <laughs> if I get to play the pretentious card. You know, I haven't actually seen it. I want to. Um, I've been told that I won't like it, but I don't know. I, I, maybe. Maybe I won't. I, I, uh, yeah, he, he got me. It is with the, my favorite movie is Your Mom. <laughs> Yeah, she's got an OnlyFans now. Her movies are real good. Yeah. 
Interstellar. Okay, so of of all the movies that I've seen, Interstellar is the one that I most regret not seeing in IMAX. I just missed it. I didn't know about the movie. It came and went, and I didn't know. I wish I had seen that in IMAX. That would have been a truly unforgettable experience. Wow, okay. So these, like, really are homing. Yeah, here. I watched it zooted out of your mind at 1 a.m. and it was an experience. Oh my god. Oh, oh shit. I have to go down? Alright. Get rid of that guy first. He's got the rocket launcher. That wasn't so bad. Got him. Okay, let's move on. Hey! Heck yeah! The Dune miniseries from Sci-Fi is your fave and you own it. Oh really? That's good to know. KY loves Dune. He read the book. He's heavily anticipating the movie. We are very excited to see that. Um, uh, KY is not like an IMAX buff. And I definitely am. I'm like, I, I want to see the movie on the biggest screen imaginable. And he's like, big screen, big, big screen. So, uh, and, and when he says like, yeah, let's go see, let's go see Dune and IMAX. I'm like, Big screen! Yay! <laughs> Too many name, but Matrix and Blade Runner stand out. I actually like Blade Runner 2049 better than the first one. I watched them both in the last couple of months for the first time, and I liked the second one better than the last one. Also heavily anticipating the next movie. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. I'll have to tell KY to check out the sci-fi series, though. Both are good. Avatar, judge me. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I liked Avatar. I just think some parts of it were dumb. But like visually, it was very pretty. It was like uh, a beautiful movie for its time. Inception, another good one that got a lot of, I got black, I think, Inception. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. There's so many paths here. just can't with Avatar. <laughs> well, you know what? Not every movie is for everyone. Um, like, a movie that I love, and actually, well, this is a sci-fi, um, and a, a potentially unpopular opinion. I love Pacific Rim. I think Pacific Rim was, like, one of my favorite movies that I saw the year that it came out. Like, uh, it was just so, like, extra in every way. 
<laughs> Ali, I am there for it. Um, I, I am so there. I'm sure KY will be will be fine with it. He'll approve. He'll be like, no, I understand. What you have with Ali is something that you and I can never achieve. It's just like a different type of thing. And that's just, I understand how it is. That's definitely what he's going to say. But Pacific Rim, like, so when I saw that movie, I was, I was heavily zooted. Um, and I was at the large, I was at the largest IMAX theater in New England. Um, cause big screen, big, big screen. Um, but it, it's the only IMAX that in the, in the Northeast that has uh, laser projection. It's like the highest quality IMAX in my area. And so like I sit down in the theater and it's got the Tempur-Pedic seats. And the cool thing about this theater is that in the built into the seats, it has butt kickers, which are subwoofers in the back of your seat that make the seat rumble whenever there's bass happening. So like you, you're sitting in the chair and then the 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 Jaeger like boots up and comes online and like takes its big step, you know, and your your seat just like shakes. It's so cool. <laughs> and so I'm just like I'm just like leaning back in the seat, just like <laughs> just like getting more and more excited, you know, as it goes on. And like there was just enough like science and science fiction in the movie that I could keep up with it while like super stoned, you know? It was it was so much fun. It was the most memorable IMAX experience I've ever had. And it was like I was with friends. It was just it was such a blast. Watched even the second one and enjoyed. I didn't like the second one as much. Um but it had some similar vibes, which were fun. Saw it multiple times in theater. Yeah, it was it was so it was, uh, so good. Oh, I love that movie. That movie just has a special place in my heart. What do you mean I can't stand on that platform? Rude. Uh, I'm fairly certain I heard something. What's all of this then? Oh my god. We need another community night. You're so right. We were talking about doing a movie or something. I think it's just hard to get people to find the time for it now. Ow. It's like... Especially with COVID and stuff uh, lifting and, and all that, it's much harder to find time that everybody's available. I don't know. But we definitely need to. I want to do more, like, uh, games with people, multiplayer stuff, because I love playing tabletop sim. And, uh, Switch and stuff. Like, playing Ultimate Chicken Horse was really fun. We should, maybe we should do that this weekend. If we plan it, even if not everyone shows up, at least if we do, uh, maybe next time more will. More will. Investing in Jackbox. I have some Jackbox games, and I think only one person needs to own it, right? Because I've got, I've got Drawful. Uh, and I think I have another one also. Because they were, like, super cheap at one point, so I picked up a couple of them, just in case. Yeah, only one person needs it, so I could post it. We could do, like... We could definitely do, like, even an on-stream Jackbox thing. What did that do to help me? Oh. Oh. 
Some of these I don't totally understand. Like, I hit them and they work, and then other times they don't. Maybe I'm just, like... Uh... Missing what it changes when I hit it. But also, hell yeah, we got another one of these. Jockbox is a good stream and party game worth it. Yeah, uh, one of my mods, uh, Friendly Pyro. Pyro does a community game night every Thursday. Oh, I, oh God, I love those cutscenes. They're so cool. Really loved the new Star Trek movies. Still stuck on movies. That's like, I love talking about movies. Um, I liked the new Star Trek movies. I thought they were fun. Uh, I, I think that they, they got weaker as they went on, but I thought they were good. Um, I thought that the, the crazy part, the crazy one was the second one with, with Bender Snatch Cumberfield. First one's best for sure, yeah. But, like, the second one was kind of like 9-11 conspiracy stuff. Did you ever read about that, Allie? The, uh... The, like, how the director was a 9-11 uh, conspiracy theorist, and so the premise of the movie was uh, based on conspiracy theories? Too, I'm a 9-11 conspiracy theorist, though. So that movie must be based. <laughs> I didn't make... Uh, didn't make that much sense. Almost a spy thriller. Oh, where am I? Hold up. Uh, oh god, do I have to, like, redo these? There we go. Excellent, excellent. Alright, back to where we were. Oh, uh, I, I understand. I understand your message now. I didn't. That makes so much sense. It was almost a spy thriller. Yes. <laughs> I read that backwards. I apologize uh, for my reading ability. Uh, I try. The one with Idris Elba uh, kind of dragged. I feel like they could have taken out half the movie and it would have been okay. But the first one? Yeah, the first one was excellent. I even really enjoyed the second one. I just like read an article about the parallels between um, uh, between the, the plot and like little hidden details and stuff compared to 9-11. And it was... Oh very I thought it was I thought it was interesting I didn't even think it like made the movie bad or anything it just I was like oh what a choice are we fighting this guy now is that what we're doing oh maybe not I was certain that this guy was gonna wake up um what's the was it the third one that had Idris Elba because I think the only thing that stands out to me now about that movie was, like, the motorcycle. I was like, why is there a motorcycle in this movie? Casting is excellent. Even when the story lacked, the characters were still very good. Yeah. Yeah, the casting was great. I, I liked the guy. Uh, the main guy a lot. Chris, whatever. The other Chris. Chris. 
Whoops. Chris Pine. There's so many Chris's. I really like this whole area. It's very cool. I love the aesthetic of this just destroyed factory where they clearly were, like, making these monsters. Another boss! Bring it on! Ah! Uh, not that much. Jeez. First try. Was that first try? Second try? Hell yeah. Got him. Too easy. Jurassic World. Jurassic World was great. Those were really good movies. I also just, I'm a, a huge fucking Chris Pratt nerd. I just think he's really funny. Actually, I take that back. I take it back. I take that back. I used to love Chris Pratt. And then he like flashed a woman at work to like get a better reaction from her while they were acting and presented it as like a funny story. And when I first heard it, I was like, oh, haha, -ha, that's funny. But then you, you think about it and you're like, oh, that's actually kind of like sexual harassment. That's actually like not cool. That's actually kind of bad. <laughs> I, you used to too and then he disappointed you. Yeah. It, it was just like it. That particular incident just sounded like a, a really dumb, immature thing that was probably harmless, but it was still, still not okay. No, and no one, like, really pulled him aside and was like, hey, yeah, that wasn't cool for protocol, but also that wasn't cool to do as just, like, a normal person. Also, this is cool looking. Look at this guy. Oh, that's such a good detail. I like that if I go to the edge here, the camera shifts over and, like, focuses in on on that. It centers it just a little bit. It's very cool. It's good detail. They do a good job with the camera angles in this game. Chris Evans is still number one. I always say whenever he does something bad, I'll give up forever. Alright. Okay. Um, I guess we'll go down here again and we'll get that other boss. <laughs> Praise be Genova. Jehovah. Ooh. That was this way. I hope we don't have to fight everything again, but we definitely will. Uh, I also don't totally remember where I've been. Did I watch Snowpiercer? I haven't. It's on my list, though. Uh. 
There's a movie and a show, both are very good. I will definitely check it out. I'm almost done with Harley Quinn, and so I'm gonna need a new, oh, new thing. Oh, right. I have to be really careful not to use all my health. All right, no more healing. Only perfect gameplay from here on. All right, from here on, only perfect gameplay. also have to come back and do the secrets in case any of them are health and I just don't remember let me know what I think of the movie star movie stars Chris Evan but the show has daved gigs and both killed it that's cool that's good to know I will I will let you know what I think If, if you know anything about me, it's that I don't keep my opinions to myself, so you'll be the first to hear it. Slimes, come here. Damn it. Just get me out of here. Health? Yes. Good. No! God damn it. I have to heal. If I took even one damage, I'd have to restart this whole area. like so hyper focused now just knowing that I need a bunch of health to get into that boss oh shit as long as I have the three I think I'll be okay gameplay jumps off the cliff yeah thanks for the clip alley because accurate shit shit all right oh wait but it, i don't have to go all the way back because i went into a new area so i should be okay i should be fine yes okay we got to a checkpoint It's like 110 percent done a million and ten percent done Ooh, all right all 
All right, that's fine. Just knowing that I don't have to go a huge way back with this area. Oh, oh, all right, well, that's worse. That's, what a shitty checkpoint. Just fucking shit. You guys. That took so long to publish and you kept laughing. This is the worst checkpoint I've had in this game. This almost seems like a bug. sworn that there was a health pack right there the first time I came through here, but maybe not. Boss time! A <laughs> sign of a good clip. Love to see it. Alright. We've got two health packs this time. Oh, hey. I went through all those healths really quick. chance this time. Last time I was like, we've got no chance. There's no point in trying. This time I think we've got a chance. Yeah, I got this. I got this. Thank you for, thank you for the belief. Oh, whoops. I forgot that I need to heal first. <laughs> Alright, we're ready. kind of around that. Okay. How much health do I have? I know that there's... Oh, okay. It saved at me having full health this time. That's nice. There we go. 
Got him. Heck yeah. Mm, feeling good. Feeling good. Oh, we're gonna be able to get so many upgrades when we go back to town. Uh, two exactly. Didn't even use all my health. Thank you for the GGs and the pogs. Oh, they psyched us out. They were like, you're not gonna get one of those triangles, but we're gonna give you one. Don't worry. Don't worry. We got you. We got you. Also, I've been standing for a while. I, I kept up the stand for like an hour. It's, it's good. Streaming while standing is actually not bad. Because I kind of forget about it. When I'm working, I always remember that I'm stream that I'm that I'm working and standing, you know? Stretch. Thank you for the stretch. Ugh. Ugh everything cracks. <laughs> It's like all of my joints say, nah, man. No thanks. Ugh. Oh, that feels good. All right. Best kind of stretch. We've got a lot of these. A lot of the, the things that we're supposed to get. Oh, oops. See, days is. Let's go get back to our save spot before anything bad happens to us. Where is it? This place is so big. There it is. Let's see. Oh, we found another place. I th think this is a good place to stop for tonight. Because um, we've been going for three and a half hours. That is longer than I planned. Um, and I, I could use a snack, could use a snack. Um, thank you. Thank you everybody for hanging out, especially those of you who are here during my earlier rant, uh, cause I've said it a few times, but I was really nervous to talk about that kind of stuff on stream. And it really meant a lot to me that everybody was so receptive and just awesome you guys are all awesome um made my first just chatting stream a really good experience um parallel cg thank you for that follow um critical hits live and dr sweet brown i think uh for the raids um i still don't totally know if brown raided us or not or if that was i don't know what happened there but um great chat earlier for sure i'm glad that you guys enjoyed it uh, I'll, cause I'll do it again at some point. Like if some other topic comes up that I really just want to chat about, I'll announce it in advance and we can, we can have a, a big rant sesh. Uh, also I know exactly who we are going to raid. We're going to raid Nob. Show him some love. Usually he's streaming when I'm working. And so I'm like lurking in his chat, like all damn day. Yeah, Arco, thank you for hanging out. Dave and Allie, always great to, to have you guys here. And um, I'm glad that you enjoyed the chat. Have a great night, everybody. Say hi to Nob for me. I'll be in there for a few minutes before I, before I piece to get some food. All right. Catch you later.